Hey guys, so <laughs> before I get started on my impromptu Dollar Tree haul, I want to talk about why I didn't post my Halloween hangout video with me, the one that I had promised you guys. And there, long story short, it, yesterday did not go as planned. Before I knew it, trick or treaters were at my door and I was like, what, what just happened to my Saturday? Where did it go? I basically woke up at the crack of dawn to do cheer hair and makeup to my daughter and her friend and then we rushed out the door to make it to the arena so that I could sit there until about three o'clock. The next thing I know, I have like six teenagers in my car and I'm like, mm. then they come hang out at my house. And I'm like, no, no, I gotta film. So I'm really sorry that I just did not get to do a video and hang out with me. I didn't even dress up. Literally, I came home, by the time I got home, took my dog out, dealt with the teenagers, I was on the phone with my mom, the doorbell rings, and I'm in my outfit from yesterday, and I'm like, whoa. So I'm sorry I did not vlog about that, and I haven't actually vlogged yet, but I've been trying to start, and it just hasn't been working out, and no one cares. I'm a little out of sorts today, and I'm really sorry. I was actually not even planning on doing a Dollar Tree haul today. I just had one mission to go to the Dollar Tree today, which was to get some organizing, like bins and stuff for my craft closet. I want to clean out my craft closet and I was gonna film that video, but the first thing I wanted to do was go to the Dollar Tree and get some organizing tools so that I could organize to the max. But, of course, when I go to the Dollar Tree, I can't just get what's on my list. I went to the Dollar Tree today and I couldn't believe all the things that I saw. And they were already, Halloween stuff was already gone. Gone. I go this morning and there's just boxes and boxes and boxes of Christmas stuff. And I can't begin to tell you how badly I wanted to open up all those boxes next time. I'm not, I'm gonna carry a pair of scissors like in a holster. And when I go to the Dollar Tree Hall, I'm just gonna start opening boxes on my own. I will, mm -hmm, I will. Well, most of these items are like storage, but there's also like Christmas stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Because it's a raining mess and my dog tracks in mud and it's been driving me crazy. I saw this at the Dollar Tree. It's probably been there the whole time that I've been shopping there. Never really thought about it, but it says it's bedding under pads and it's superior protection for bedding. I don't want this for my bed. I was actually thinking that when it rains here, I could just unfold this and put it like by the front door or my back door and that way when my dog walks in from her walk it will just kind of soak up any excess or leftover like water or mud that's on her paws. It's high absorbency and disposable so that's why I liked about this. I don't want to have to deal with washing it. I just want to put this down when it rains and when it's gross and over with I can just bundle this up and throw it away. Of course, this is not something that you wanna have out when you're having company over, but it's something for me to keep in my house when it rains. I have hauled these before, nothing new. These are just some plastic clear ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I have a lot of different things I'm going to do with these and I will be sharing that in a video with you. I don't mean to tease you guys. I know you're probably wondering, when are my Christmas DIYs coming? There's a lot of them and they will be coming here. Probably a little too soon for this, but I saw these and thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I cannot remember if Dollar Tree ever had these, but they are curled candy cane with gummies. Is this not adorable? A dollar for each, and you get two, so both of them are 50 cents each. And I think these are just so adorable, such a showcase piece. I will be utilizing these for gifts for maybe like my daughter's friends or my friends and neighbors. As I was traveling down the Christmas candy section, I saw these two. I'm gonna let you take a moment to look at them and pass out if you need to because I've never seen anything this cute at the Dollar Tree before. What I love about this one is that there's two of them. So I got two for a dollar and then this cute little gingerbread house. And these are edible. You can eat these. I of course did not know um, how many I needed to get, but I knew instantly that I wanted these to be for gifts. So I got three of each 
and I'll be doing some sort of tutorial using these. Again, it's probably a little too early, but I thought these were so cute and these will probably be gone very quickly. I just picked up some red ribbon. It's got some glitter in it. Not really for Christmas purpose. My daughter's school color is red and I have to do a gift to her big sister. So I got this for her gift. If you watched my Halloween tutorials, I did a Dollar Tree jar with a black spider on it. I absolutely loved it. And then I went, um, why haven't I done something like this for my fall decor? So I am going to do one for fall decor and I'm going to share that video with you here really soon. And I picked up an apple a fake artificial apple and this pear. I wasn't sure which one I really liked best, so I got one of each and I'm gonna do two different jars utilizing these as the decoration piece on top. So I cannot wait to share that with you. I always love to see what the Dollar Tree is gonna come up with next. And when I saw this, I was like, that is so cool. I've never seen it before. It's like a mix and serve container. It has like measuring tool here on the side for you and it's broken down into ounces and cups which is very cool. I don't know if you can read that or not but I will say that um, just based on the quality of the grip here and the lid I would definitely hold this down if you are mixing ingredients in here together. You don't want things to fly out and get all over the place. But this is really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I am gonna keep this in my kitchen. I don't actually mix ingredients like this together. Although this would be cool for like pancakes. The next item. I'm all about that dear life for some reason this year. I, it really kind of started last year, but like my dear obsession for Christmas decor is thick. And when I saw these treat bags with a zip seal, with little frickin' deers, and blue and white snowflakes, I was just like, I'm done. These are the cutest bags I've ever seen. I got two of them. I said this in my past videos. For some reason, when I really like something, I get two of them because I never know if Dollar Tree is going to bring it back again next year. Dollar Tree will bring back repeat items over and over and over back to their Dollar Tree stores, but there are some items that just never come back and I never understand why. So I grabbed two of these just in case this is one of those things that doesn't come back. And I will say, four zip bags, there's a really good chance this won't come back in this style. They will always constantly change their styles and they had a ton of different patterns. They had snowmen and just a red, green, and white theme with just swirls and bows and stuff. And they had Santa Claus. I almost didn't see these, which is kind of crazy because I know better than anyone else that you have to go through Dollar Tree stuff because sometimes they're just hidden gems. You just never know. So I, when I saw these, I grabbed two of them. I will be doing a video using these, so I can't wait to share that with you. I picked up, this is just kind of random, I picked up some more stickers from the Panini brand. I have hauled the sticker book before and I talked about how soothing this is to me. It's kind of like a puzzle. And so I picked up some more stickers. I finally found the Minnie Mouse ones for my new Minnie Mouse book. And these are kind of really difficult for me to buy just because one little packet is a dollar. So it can add up. And before you know it, if you're going through your sticker book, you're like, did I really just spend $200 on this freaking album? Really? Did I really just do that? You do get seven cards. I think in my last video I said 10 cards. It's actually seven cards. But I will say that... I don't get as many duplicates as I thought that I would. So really every time that I open up a package, I am finding new stickers that I don't have. So got some stickers for that. Something new that I saw today is just this Baker's Twine. And these really beautiful colors, it's like a red, a light blue, and a navy. They had a ton of different colors. They had another set that looked fall related, yellow and orange and brown. And I think they had some like pink tones. It was very pretty. I think maybe there's some green. I just picked up this one. Sometimes for me, when I first see something new at the Dollar Tree, I pick one item that stands out the most to me. And then when I go home, I think about all the other colors that they had. And if I 
need them for a craft or something like that. I really don't like to buy impulsively and then really never use the item, but these are so cute. And breaking news, let's just stop this shindig because I completely forgot all about this. A dear subscriber of mine, Miss Crafty Jackie, I'm pretty sure it was you, made a comment in one of my videos. Uh, which video was it? I don't know what video it was. But she mentioned something about, well, you know, what I'm really doing right now, like pocket letters. And I went, pocket what? Never heard of pocket letters in my life. And let me tell you, I thought my Dollar Tree obsession was sick. I looked up pocket letters, saw some videos on YouTube, and I am completely hooked. I haven't even done any yet, but I am putting out the request out there right now that I am searching for some pocket letter pals. I wanna do pocket letters, I wanna send pocket letters. If you do not know what pocket letters are, at first, what I thought pocket letters were was just putting a bunch of letters in like baseball card holder. There's like a sheet of like what you would put baseball cards in. And I thought that what you do is put letters in them. And I was like, that doesn't really sound that interesting. But that's not what pocket letters is. You are actually sending like samples, little bitty pieces of scrapbooking stuff to your friends, to your pocket letter pals. And it is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And let me tell you, now that my daughter's a freshman, you didn't know this was gonna be a chatty video, I'm sorry. The Dollar Tree haul will resume in a minute. Priorities. Now that my daughter's a freshman, I have been pondering, what am I gonna do? when she goes off to college. Besides obviously pick up, pack up, and move with her, what am I going to do with myself in my time? Now don't freak out. I don't foresee me not doing YouTube. I don't foresee me stopping YouTube by any means. But I gotta do something else. The answer is pocket letters. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be doing pocket letters when she's in college. I'm gonna be doing pocket letters right now. I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna get a head start. So I am looking for pocket letter pals. I will put my email in the description box below. If you do pocket letters, if you're interested in pocket letters, go check out some videos on YouTube. See if it's something for you. If you love scrapbooking, I'm pretty sure this is right up your alley. So check my description box below. And also this is breaking news but I am getting a P.O. box tomorrow. I've been getting tons of emails from you guys wanting to have an address to send me things, but I am gonna get a P.O. box, I'm gonna get it tomorrow, and as soon as I have it, I will be adding that information in my next video for sure, but I will be updating this video. I will be updating the description box below with my P.O. box as soon as I have that address tomorrow. With that said, I'm completely ecstatic about this pocket letter. So if it was you, Miss Crafty Jackie, who made the comment about them, oh, thank you so much. I am so freaking excited about it. And the reason why I picked up this is because this reminds me of something that you would put in pocket letters. This is like a cute thing to add in pocket letters as a sample size of twine. I watched some lady in the UK do an unpocketing letters and she just kind of revealed her pocket letters in a video and she absolutely adored twine because i guess there's a lot of things people in different countries do not get that we get here in the u.s so i thought this was extremely adorable for pocket letters and of course for my crafting as well i mentioned that i purchased this ribbon for my daughter's big sister gift it's just kind of just to wrap the gift with but I did want to get some little items for her actual gift itself. And I found these cute little elastics in the perfect colors 
that go with her school colors, red, white, and blue. So I got these for that. And on her list of favorites, she liked monkeys. And when I saw this, I flipped out. Never seen this at the Dollar Tree before, but it's a lip gloss in a monkey container. So I figured this was very, very cute, and I'm really hoping that she loves this. I do love to personalize my gifts. I love to give gifts that's about that person and not about me. I don't know if you've caught yourself doing that. Sometimes you give gifts that you think they will love because you love it. I do that quite often sometimes, but I'm really trying to give gifts that I believe that person will love and that's personal to them. Then I just kind of wanted to do this red theme, so I was trying to pick up any kind of candy at the Dollar Tree today that was red. These are just some big sticks of big red in red. And then these are some cute little trident splash and it shows that it's actually red on the outside. And it's strawberry with lime. I've never had these before, but the packaging is absolutely adorable. And then I picked a box of Starburst because I know there are cherry ones wrapped in red in here. I will be doing a video of how I put this little cute gift together because it is Dollar Tree related, so I can't wait to share that with you. I'm hoping that that's gonna be tomorrow. Okay, so now for the main reason why I actually went to the Dollar Tree today, which was to get all the organizing items and storage bins that I wanted for my craft closet. So the first thing that I picked up is something that I've actually used for organization before. I have one of these in my junk drawer in my kitchen, and I have one of these in my bathroom. It is just such a great little tool to kind of organize and put little things in. I will insert some pictures of what they look like, but in my bathroom, this is in my top main drawer, and I just kind of put like earrings and random stuff in here. So I knew that this would be great in my craft closet. In my craft closet, I actually have a tall dresser that used to be part of my daughter's um, like room decor collection, but she had too many pieces in there, no longer wanted it in there. And so instead of throwing away the dresser, I figured why don't I just move this dresser into a storage closet and it can hold all of my craft stuff and I absolutely love it. The only problem is there's no organization within those drawers. So this is going to go in one of the drawers. The next thing that I got, I wanted to stick with a white consistent theme. I didn't want like loud bright colors. My dresser is white and so I just kind of wanted the storage items to blend in. And so I picked up two of these huge white basket containers. Now this is not something that's gonna go in the actual drawers because the drawers are not this big, but they will go in the craft closet itself. White storage items is really hard to come by at the Dollar Tree. I was surprised they have it. When I see white, I always grab it because it looks the cleanest and the neatest. And sometimes I don't want my organization stuff to look like a bunch of random colors and cartoons. So unless you're doing something like that for a kid's child's room, a child's closet, otherwise I really do like the white. Next thing I picked up is just a set of ice cube trays. You get two for a dollar. They did not have this in white, so blue was my only option. And I figured this would be really cute and a great organizing tool for my drawers. It is pretty small. The pockets are small, obviously, because it's meant for ice. But I'm pretty sure I can find little things that no longer have like a bag home or something small that I can just drop into here. Every time I'm in the stationary aisle, I have seen these, and it wasn't until today that I now have a use for them. They don't have these in white, they had it in silver and black, and so for me, black and white is the best organization colors for my style, and so I got two black of these. Have no idea if I need more, if I need just one, if I don't need any at all, but I saw these and thought this would be great to put in my drawers to throw any random items in here. Of course, I got some white bins, two for a dollar. I love this, which means each are 50 cents each. And in the glassware section, I saw this little container. It's plastic. I love that because I'm not going to be afraid of it dropping. It's also not going to be that much weight in my chest of drawers. So have no idea what's going to go in here, but I saw this. It was clear. I could see through it. I liked the white lid. So everything about this screamed organization storage. Next, I got some of these square white bins. 
They are gorgeous. I absolutely love these. I love the size of these. And you can actually put labels on this as well. So if you have like chalkboard labels or labels that you make yourself, or you can even just use a marker to write on here as well, like a permanent marker and write out whatever you want on here. Okay, so now for my favorite item of my haul. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but it's gonna go to the deers. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen at the Dollar Tree. I absolutely adore these. I am going to put forth so much effort to figure out all the different things that I can do with these and not just use them as gift bags. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do with these, let me know. Also comment below which item was your favorite from the haul and thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you really soon to organize my craft closet. I can't wait to get started. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!